How surprised were you by Andrew Luck's sudden return? Like everyone, Skip, I was very surprised. Um, you know, we we kept hearing about he had a uh, calf injury in April, mm -hmm. and here we are, August, and he was still unable to practice. Uh, never, I don't think anyone thought it would get to this point. Um, but watching him in the press conference, Skip, he looked like a broken man. He said something very, very interesting. He said after the last four years in which it was injury, surgery, rehab, injury, surgery, rehab, it had robbed him of his joy to play the game. Skip, when you hear Tom Brady talk about his 20 years, what does he say? He still enjoys playing the game. And once that's been taken away, I don't really know what it's there is to play. Now, Andrew Luck could have could have maybe fooled some people and not practice and do what he did, like he said, in 2016. Mm -hmm. But he said doing that, he'd have been an average quarterback. And that is something that he could not tolerate. Mm -hmm. um, I commend him. Um, Skip is tough. No one, no one really knows what it's like unless you've been there before. And I dealt with something. I had ankle, Skip. It was my ankle, knee, ankle, knee. Shoot the ankle up. Couldn't practice. Just shoot it up every single week and play the game. Then you have off-season surgery. Then the first game of the next season, guess what, Skip? It's the ankle again. And then you're hobbling on your ankle. You hurt your right knee. So it's ankle surgery and knee surgery in the off-season. And I'm like, man, when is this thing going to end? Then I fracture my eye socket. I'm like, man, I got the worst luck possible. Okay. Can you imagine him, Skip? You see, he got injured. <clears throat> and a lot of this I played solely at the feet of the Indianapolis Colts and Ryan Grigson because they didn't do him any favors, Skip. Instead of getting him offensive linemen to protect him, they got him skill position players because they wanted this thing to pick up what, right where Peyton Manning left off when he had Reggie Wayne, when he had a Dallas Clark, Marvin Harrison, Edron James, and then he had a, a, a Jay Aj uh, mm -hmm. Ajayi, mm -hmm. I think yep. that's his name. Yep. Yeah. Joseph Adai. Jo Joseph. Joseph Adai. Yeah. Skip, and they wanted that, and so they didn't have Lyman to protect him. And in the process, Andrew's like, I don't have protection. I've got to play some hero ball. Skip, he thought he could run over linebackers. He thought he could run through defensive linemen. But a lot of that was because of the Colts them protecting. Yep. And mm. that game in which he played against the Broncos, Skip, yep. I've never seen a quarterback take so much punishment. Mm -hmm. and still finish the game, and not only finish, he won the game, but it came at a heavy price. That was the beginning of the end of Andrew Luck as far as his health, Skip, because you can't take that kind of punishment. Now, this new guy, they come in and they get him some protection. Left guard, Quentin Nelson. The center's a first-round draft pick. The left tackle's a first-round draft pick. The right tackle's a second-round draft pick. They got the sense, but the damage had already been done, Skip. And then he missed the entire season with shoulder surgery. After playing with the shoulders uh, banged up all year long, he said, I'm not doing this anymore. Skip, it robbed him. The injuries robbed him of his joy to play the game. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what? I couldn't. And I think the doctors probably told him, Andrew, you're still a couple of months away. And he didn't want to go into the season, Skip, rehabbing, standing on the sideline, lying. When you're going to be back, I'm close. I'm close knowing he's still some time away. So I just believe that at this point, he felt there's no other way. He said, there's no way forward other hmm. than to step away. Hmm. I was surprised like a lot of people was. Hmm. And uh, I just want whatever's best for Andrew Luck. Hopefully he can heal up and we'll, maybe we'll have, a, uh, have another discussion this hmm. time next year. Hmm. So let me get this straight. As you just pointed out, Tom Brady has turned 42 years of age. He is leaping out of bed every morning spilling over with joy to play yet another sure. football season, and he has vowed to play until he's 45. And the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp across from me every day keeps saying, yeah, you can play until 45 because the game is rigged for the quarterback mm -hmm. to protect the quarterback, yes. right? Yes. And we just saw a young man retire at 20. almost 30, yes. but he's still 29 years of age. Yes. Why is that? Maybe it's too soon for me to be harshly objective, but I'm about to be. So – my reaction was I was not shocked by this because clearly Andrew Luck in his first three seasons in this league took an unholy <laughs> amount of punishment. He I've did. never seen anything quite like the punishment wow. he took. And he got hurt and he pretty much stayed hurt. The last year was an aberration because it was a pretty right. clean year for him. Again, he didn't play his best when they got to the game at Kansas City, right. but they still had a very good year, and it was a bounce-back year for him to the point that he was 
chosen the Comeback Player of the Year. That is correct. Now he has a chance to be a double Comeback Player of the Year. Chad Pennington once did that. But if he did come back, he could do it again. Right. So my point was, I still don't know if we know the truth about what this latest mysterious injury is. It's got to be way worse than what they are telling us because it started out as a calf injury. In April. In April. And then suddenly it moved to some kind of a bone issue. I don't know what that was. And then it was an ankle. High ankle sprain. High, high ankle sprain, right? And to quote Bruce Arians, who knows Andrew very well because he coached him, he said yesterday, something has got to be wrong somewhere with this picture, mm-hmm. that there's there's something deeper going on. Oh, I, I totally this believe mystery that. mystery injury yes. because okay. it was already clear. You just said he might miss a couple of months. Yes. Well, he was clearly going to miss the start of the real season, Mm -hmm. and it seemed to be no end in sight with what was first a calf injury? Right. Okay. Is it career-threatening, whatever's going on with his leg? Heaven forbid I'm knocking on wood. Is it life-threatening? I don't know, because it's coming across like it was really, really Mm -hmm. serious and bad. Right. Much worse than we were led to believe. Correct. Correct? So the point is that... This was not shocking to me just because of the injury factor. So a lot of people leap to the conclusion that this was the most stunning retirement in the history of sports. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Did Jim Brown not retire? Okay, Jim Brown retired at age 29. And to my knowledge, he was, you know, no more than Knicks and Knacks. But but he was perfectly healthy. He led the league in rushing and touchdowns this last year. Okay, Barry Sanders retired at age 30. And he was pretty much perfectly healthy as far as I knew. We could go to Calvin Johnson, who was still – he had issues with the team, as did Barry. Right. But but health was – he'd had his problems. But I don't think health was the issue, but right? But Aaron Hernandez murdered a man after okay. receiving a $40 million contract. Okay. Is that not shocking? Okay. I mean, they talk about – no, I'm just saying. They said the most no, shocking okay. thing that in the NFL, okay. Oh, Jim, you, a retirement. Yeah, you, yeah. well, Jim – well, I'm yeah. saying Jim Brown and okay. – for me, Jim Brown and Barry is more shocking than this. Okay, and Michael Jordan – was, uh, what was he, 29? Yes. So, you know, his first retirement, we can go on and on about what precipitated right. that, but but he was completely 100% healthy. Yeah. So there's no health issue. Right. And then we've seen Tiger Woods fight his way back, right. fight his way back, right. fight through this and that right. and this and that, even more injured maybe than Andrew Luck has been injured. But Tiger Woods was fighting back because he had already achieved all-time greatness. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm here to say it once again. I wasn't the biggest Andrew Luck fan before he was drafted. Yes. My issues were that at Stanford, he was kind of the coach's pat type. He was the the coach's dream where he wanted every play to be the greatest play ever. So he held the ball and he held the ball and he tried things he shouldn't try. This is what I'm watching at Stanford, even all the way up to the bowl game, Mm -hmm. which they lost to Oklahoma State. And – he didn't have great feel for the game because when in doubt, he just took off running and tried to use his he, – he's very athletic and he's a big man. He's a big man, yeah. He's yep. 245, okay. 250. He, yeah, he shared big. this one trait with uh, Robert Griffin III, who was his dr- draft mate. Right. You know, he went second. Obviously, Washington traded up. Mike Shanahan was – though he was – Forced to trade up. Forced anyway. to trade up. But, but again, they were draft mates and they shared this. Both had supreme athletic ability in different doses, different right. ways. But but Robert was the same way. Right. When in doubt, he took off. Did he slide? Nope. nope. He tried to run through people. Andrew tried to run over people, and we saw it manifest itself right away in the National Football League. Yes. What was he trying to live up to? He had a label attached to his name. Yeah. You are the next John <laughs> Elway, yeah. right, out of Stanford. Grade. He was right? the highest-graded player. Since Elway in 1983. Okay, and what happened his first year in the league? Andrew Luck was second in turnovers. His third year, he was once again second in turnovers. The first year to Mark Sanchez, Mr. Butt fumbled. The the third (laughs) year, he was second to Jay Cutler. You have little to no use. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. go ahead and put that Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Jay Cutler. I (laughs) thought he was really good. Hey, I bet you you did. So, over from 2012 to 16, his first five years in the league, Andrew Luck had the third most turnovers in pro football. Mm -hmm. That won't work. No. You're, you're not going to win a lot of games. But, Skip, to his credit now, let's be all the way real and fair with him. His offensive line was terrible. They did him no services. 
by okay. p- putting him behind that offensive line. And the expectations, think about what he was going. Yeah, not only was he the highest rated player since John Elway, mm-hmm. he was going to a situation where he was placing, replacing a guy who had a hospital wing named after him, mm-hmm. playing the exact same position. Mm-hmm. So the expectations, even Ursay, this guy here is going to be the reason I get more of these, okay. talk pointing to his finger, right. Super Bowl rings. Okay, yeah. so he was the next Elway replacing Peyton Manning. That's an awful lot. By the way, I got to point this out just for the record. The day that Jim Ursay pushed Peyton out the back door, because I thought they kind of gave air kisses to each yeah. other, you know, I said on TV, and I wrote this on ESPN.com, this will be the worst decision of Jim Ursay's ownership career. He'll look back on this one and regret this more than... So Peyton Manning then goes on to Denver, should have won two MVPs. Adrian Peterson won one. It was very close, but he did win the next one. And he got them to two Super Bowls, and they did win one. Andrew Luck, to date, is 4-4 and in the postseason. He has 12 touchdowns to 13 interceptions in the postseason. And he is second most in interceptions over his time in the league in the postseason, and his 15 turnovers are tied for first in all of his years in the playoffs. And he's tied with Tom Brady for turnovers, but Tom Brady has played 18 games to Andrew Luck's eight games. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.